Welcome back all you sports and gambling fans out there. Today we're doing some NBA betting coverage and joining me here is our very own SBR contributor Dave Golikov. Today we're looking at the Bulls going up against the Pacers and Chicago's coming off a tough 108 to 105 win at home going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder and that was without Derrick Rose and Jimmy Butler. So both these guys can actually take as much time as they need to recover from those injuries if Etwan Moore and Nikola Mirotic can continue to pick up the slack especially more after pulling off that amazing three-pointer in the final seconds of last night's game. Anyways, um, the Bulls are riding a two-game winning streak, but if they want to get that third win, Dave, I mean, what are they going to have to do? Well, I think they're going to have to put forth another effort like last night. This is a Bulls team that is definitely shorthanded, and uh, it's not just Butler, it's not just Rose, Taj Gibson also out a couple of weeks they're very, very thin in terms of uh, depth right now, but this is a team that started with a lot of depth. So if they're to win tonight in Indiana, they're going to have to continue to count on that depth. Now, secondly, it wouldn't hurt if their defense finally showed up. You know, this Bulls team was built on defense throughout all of the years that Tom Thibodeau has been head coach. This year has been the aberration. You know, last night you see games in the hundreds again. This needs to. This team needs to get games back into the 90s area, uh, even high 80s. And against a team like Indiana, they might be able to do that. All right, now Indiana seems to actually be picking up some steam as they've won their last three games in a row and have gone 8-2 and two in their last 10 games. Yet they're still 26-34 and 34 for the season and a half a game behind Charlotte for the eighth place in the Eastern Conference. So considering that they are at home, I mean, do you expect them to be able to prolong that winning streak to four, uh, to four games? Yeah, I do. Uh, this is a Pacers team that's been red hot of late, won 9 of 11 games. With George Hill in the lineup, this is a completely different team uh, than without him. Um, they are 11-3 and three this season when George Hill starts. And obviously, uh, as you mentioned the numbers, you can do the math, because uh, I don't feel like doing the math. Uh, they're well below 500 without him. So uh, George Hill makes a real difference. This team is gaining steam, gaining momentum, um, and there's a lot of optimism about them right now because it looks like Paul George, who's expected to miss the entire season, remember, with that gruesome injury, could be coming back very shortly. He's already back on the court um, and, you know, practicing a little bit. So this Pacers team, a lot of things are going well for them. Now they catch the Bulls in a back-to-back -back set uh, without a lot of uh, regulars in their lineup. I think this is a good spot for Indiana. All right, man. Now, uh, bookmakers, they're favoring the Pacers at minus between minus five and a half and minus six on the spread. You're recommending that we side with them on the minus five and a half or minus six. Um, but, you know, they are 33, 24 and three against the spread, while Chicago is 29 and 33 against the spread. But Indiana is one and one when favored by five to five and a half points and zero and one when favored by six to six and a half points. Now, granted, they've held the Bulls to just 90 points in their last six games. But Indiana has managed to just score 91.3 points in that, uh, in that same span. So, I mean, what makes you think that they can actually cover the five and a half or the six points in that case? Well, for the Pacers, their defense has been really clicking of late. Uh, both teams built around defense, but the Pacers' has, ha, defense has been playing much better than uh, Chicago's. You got the fact that the Bulls are shorthanded right now, coming off a back-to-back, -back, or sorry, coming off a win last night in a back-to-back -back set. You know, played on uh, TNT national game. Uh, Craig Sager was there. It was sort of an emotional win. They overextended themselves in that comeback, uh, you know, getting the win at the buzzer. And uh, now all of a sudden they got to go on the road and it's a quick turnaround, play an Indiana Pacers team that's uh, red hot right now. Pacers defense has been fantastic, as mentioned. Uh, the Pacers are at home where they're a much better team. I think all those factors point to a Pacers win and cover here. All right, man. Good stuff, Dave. Hey, thanks a lot for all the insights. Uh, we'll talk some more NBA again next week. And everyone else, don't forget to check back with Dave tomorrow for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.